<laughs> okay, um, let's get going. Um, people will drop in and uh, drop out as we go along. That's just the way things are. Um, my name's Greg Milner. Uh, thank you for joining us for this special training session. What we're talking about today here uh, at Worldwide Start Seller Marketing is the most valuable real estate for local businesses anywhere in the world. And uh, you probably know what that is. It's what people find on their, uh, their screens when they're searching for a local business. And that is uh, whatever they find in a Google search. And if you want to be uh, getting a lot of calls uh, for your business, a lot of appointments, you need to be found front and center right there on a Google search. Uh, people tell you that, um, other search engines are important, Yahoo and Bing, etc. But when it comes down to tin tax, uh, Google is the really uh, the only uh, name in uh, game in town. So, what we're going to do today is introduce you to a few people who are doing very, very well because of their um, Google search rankings. We're going to show you how you can get into the front page of Google with a few simple technical tricks. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to some. Uh, people we've got uh, as special guests. Um, here in our office is our SEO and Google business specialist, Peter Doman. Peter, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Now, also from uh, Gatlinburg in Tennessee, uh, we have uh, Claudette uh, Kendig of About You Salon and Day Spa. Welcome to the call, Claudette. Thank you. It's very good to be here. Um, and from Australia, one of our long-term members uh, down in the uh, country town of Sale in Victoria, very successful uh, owner of Blush Professional Beauty Touch, Nicole Paniotu. Hi, Nicole. Hello. <laughs> With uh, young Billy, I think, uh, you have uh, nearby. Oh, no, I got rid of her. She, she's gone to bed. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... We're going to come to you ladies shortly, but I want to show you a couple of things. Uh, for salon and spa owners, this is the most important thing uh, that you need to know. I'm going to show you my screen for a moment, and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So just bear with me for a moment. Um, we're getting a little bit of uh, we're getting a little bit of interference there. Sorry about that. That's just the technology. Uh, what you should see on your screen at the moment is a Google search for a hair salon in a suburb of Melbourne called Berwick, by chance. So this is the most real, valuable real estate you can, you can be on. There's only three ways to be on, um, on the front page of Google. I'll show you another screen. You can see my cursor there. At the top of that search result is a ad. That's what people pay Google for. That's how Google makes most of its money. You can pay to be at the top of Google. The next most important way to be at the top of Google is through Google local search. Now, you might have, you might understand that a, few, a couple of years ago, Google used to put up seven of the top businesses in that particular search area. Now, it only shows three. And we call it the big three. The big three get 90% of all the phone calls. So in this particular case, Elysium Hair, Oscar Oscar and Sicanaris Salon are going to get most of the calls for a search for Hair Salon Brisbane. That's the second way to be on the front page of Google. The third way and the only other way is for your own website to be ranked well enough to come up on the front page of search results organically. And that, depending on how much competition is in your marketplace, is a difficult thing to do. So by far the easiest and quickest way to get you on the front page of the Google search is by getting you into this big three area here in the local search results. Now I'm going to go to you, um, Claudette. Um, you have a salon in, uh, in Gatlinburg called About You. Um, you are ranked when one searches for beauty salon Gatlinburg, Tennessee, right at the top of um, search results in the maps, which is fantastic. Um, and that produces for you the fact that people are searching and clicking to call on their phones. That produces for you, uh, in the last 90 days alone, you can see here, 
uh, 90 phone calls to your um, salon and spa. And that is, that is valuable, valuable stuff. Can you tell us, um, Claudette, what that means to you? Well, our population where we live here, we're, we're surrounded by National Park, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So we depend a lot on our people coming in here. We have wedding chapels, so we do a lot of rides from all over the United States and, and people from around the world so, and to... Uh, uh, keep a salon the size of ours running, we have to have the uh, business from outside our city. And that's what everybody does, goes to Google, you know, unless there's somebody recommends us to them, which that happens a lot too, but uh, through the wedding chapels. But Google has made a big difference since we have been in the Google Plus. It's, uh, I can, the phones have rang more, and we've been asking them, and that's where they found us. It it means life or death to us <laughs> here in a, in the Smokies in Gatlinburg. And I'll tell you what's happening. Um, thank you, Claudette. What's happening is that you can see my phone, folks. Can you see my phone there? Yes. Eighty percent of people are searching for a local business on a smartphone, and what they get is the same result, or a very similar result, to when they're searching on a PC or a laptop or a tablet. They get the Google local business results. And what those 90 calls in the last 30 days uh, that Claudette had that I was referring to is what happens when people find that search and on the right-hand side of that search is a phone icon and when you click that phone icon, it asks, do you want to call that salon or spa? Google records every phone call that's made that way. So those results that I was just talking about from... Uh, from uh, Claudette's uh, Google business listing are as a result of people doing exactly that. So if we go back to, um, if we go back to uh, Claudette's results there, uh, you can see here that uh, Claudette had in the last 30 days 781 total clicks on her Google business listing. From there, 680, 632 went through to Claudette's website. You can see that figure there. 59 asked for driving directions, and 90 did that click to call. Now, that's 90 prospective new clients in a 30-day period just from people finding you on Google business listing. So what, I'm going to go now to uh, Nicole in, um, in Sale, Victoria. Hi, Nicole. Yeah. Um, Nicole, in the last 30 days, you've had 174 phone calls from people finding you on Google. Does that tally with the number of uh, random phone calls you seem to get at the salon on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, in February, we had 148 new clients come to the salon. So today, I'm putting together 148 new client packs. And what does 148 new clients in a month translate to you in terms of business? A lot of money. Yep. So you can see... Um, Nicole's Google Insights, um, because we manage got, uh, Nicole's and various other people's um, Google uh, rankings, we have access to the back end of Google's uh, analytics system. So you can see here from this graph that in the last 30 days, Nicole's had 372 clicks on her Google Plus listing or Google Business listing and 174 of those have actually called the salon. So that's a pretty remarkable result. Um, we've also got uh, Peter Hyde. Hi, Peter, from uh, Smooth Beauty in Caloundra in Queensland. How are you going? Very, very well, thanks. Peter, you've, uh, you get similar kinds of results every month from Google+. Plus. What does that mean to your business? Uh, it's the, the main driving force for my business, really. Google's, um, other than vouchers and word of mouth, Google is, is primarily the number one reason why people come to our salon. 
And you can see from uh, this screen that I'm sharing now, that's uh, the result you get when you search for a beauty salon in Caloundra in Queensland. Smooth Body Spa and Beauty is right at the top. Now, what also is important here is reviews. You can see here that Smooth Body Spa and Beauty has a star rating because uh, Peter has got her clients to review her many times, 13 reviews she has, and that gives you a star rating. The effect of that is that people searching for a business will be naturally drawn to a business that has a star rating. Can we, can we go back to you, um, Claudette? When did you start to notice more and more phone calls coming in because of your um, results? Well, just in the last few weeks, we have noticed quite a few more phone calls. Just since you, you all have been working on this and getting it up for us where it should be, we've noticed it's probably been the last three weeks now, something, something like that, that we've had more phone calls and, you know, saying from Google. Right. So that's as a result of what we've been doing um, yes. over the yes. last few weeks. Yes. All right. Um, I want to bring Peter Doman into the conversation now, Peter. Um, Peter, you're the SEO and Google business expert. What is it technically that has to be done to, um, to get your business up into that big three of the Google searches? Uh, thanks, Greg. There's a lot of things that need to be done. It's not just one simple thing. It's like, uh, I suppose, the cogs on a wheel many cogs make the machine work and there's a long and uh, intricate list uh, that will actually go through and contribute as a whole part to making sure that that business listing is seen in the top three. Okay, so can, so, you, can you give us a couple of examples? Yeah, absolutely. Um, first one you would look at would be the citations and what that uh, refers to is the, how it is that your business is seen by Google. Um, so business name, address, phone number. Uh, the second one would be uh, something uh, very, I suppose technical in thought, but the idea is that uh, the backlinks sounds very simple, but needs to be executed correctly to actually have a benefit. Um, if it's done incorrectly, it'll actually affect the rankings and it actually affects the website too if it's not done correctly. So it's not just a case of putting a backlink on there for the sake of doing that. It needs to be a structured and well thought out process and it needs to be administered in that fashion. Um, and then also the page itself, the actual list needs to be optimised um, to tie in with what it is that's relevant and congruent with the business itself. Now, um, can you show us some examples of a Google business listing that's been well optimised and well set up as compared with one that has been neglected, if you like? Yeah, absolutely. And what we're going to see here is, uh, look, I've got three uh, examples to go through and show you. So the first one will be a good example. I'll just bring up the screen now. Okay. You'll have to share your screen, Peter. That's it. Yep. Roger that. So what we see here uh, is a vintage heiress, and you can see here is a, is a business listing here. So from this, we can see that there we've got uh, there's plenty of photos in there. That's excellent. Uh, we can see they've got the reviews. That's very important. We can see also that it, the category that the business itself is in is actually correct, and we can see that the address is correct, the phone number is correct, opening hours, are, you know, they're actually being put in. But we can also sort of see, uh, which has just come up very, very recently, is that down the bottom here, you'll actually see there's a little icon which you can send through. So when people are searching for stuff, they can actually send it through to their phone. So what this means effectively is they can then have the map. Yep. Um, they can then have the map that is then going straight to their phone. So when they're actually looking for this business, a map will appear on their phone and they can go and follow the direction straight there. Now, probably one of the most important things that we've seen recently is making sure that your business listing is actually claimed. So there's a lot of business listings out there that are actually unclaimed. Unclaimed, they're doing two things. One is they're not actually supporting your business to drive it in the direction you want because it's it's sort of like a, a universal sort of compilation by Google of what they think is happening in your business based on other information. So it's not 100% accurate. 
Second thing is is that uh, that then enables you to well, enables your competitors to actually then get ahead of you in that business listing because they may have already claimed theirs and they've optimised theirs. So you need to make sure that you actually claim the Google business listing as well. Can you okay. show us one that's not been um, optimised correctly? Yeah, absolutely. So if we take a look uh, here, for example, um, so what we've seen is uh, this GM hair design. We've got these guys here. So they've got some photos in there. Um, they've got, now this is Google putting a map up. So you'll see where it is that I actually have the map here. That's them. Google put a map in there because they need to have some form of reference, okay, because they don't have anything else. Um, so the, because the address hasn't been confirmed or anything like that, so Google put an estimation in. Um, they've got their address, the number that they think it, Google thinks it's right. So what it is is it's just making sure that um, the it's a very basic information. And this is what it looks like on the inside when we, when we uh, get our clients in. So what we see here, and signal the name, this is our example, uh, you'll see the profile here says to 70% completed. So what that means is that Google's got some information, but it doesn't have all the information that it needs. So what you would do to then claim a business listing like this, you would then say, okay, look, we'll uh, get Google to confirm it. And what will happen is that they will then go through and say, okay, we'll send you out a postcard or it'll give you a phone call, depends on where you are in the world, and that will then allow you to then claim that business listing. So this one here um, has been claimed, but with the information needs to be complete. So we're waiting for photos, uh, we're waiting for other information to be given to us, so we can then increase that and move that up to where it needs to be moved up to. So what's the effect, Peter, of not having a a business listing optimised correctly. Okay. Um, the effect is uh, very short and very sudden. And what happens is that the competition who then do have those Google business listings set up and optimised correctly will go above you. And I've seen it happen um, very, very frequently in that Businesses who don't have them optimised, so you might have like, you might have one logo, you might have one image or something. Those who have made the effort to go ahead and actually optimise are going above and beyond what it is that the business owner will have in that business listing. So, for example, you might be in the three pack one week, but you leave it and just leave it sit at its ordinary pace and then everyone else increases and makes the effort to actually improve their business listing and you will go down page one, page two, page three or page four. And I've seen that happen uh, over six months yeah, very easily. I think it's important to stress that Google business listing, you've got to treat it like a separate, new, different web page from your existing website. Is that right, Peter? Yeah, correct. Um, the real important thing is making sure that it's optimised, making sure that it's claimed, making sure that the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, and that then gives you the benefit of being able to get into that first place. Um, yeah, it, that is the most valuable territory I have seen on a website, on a web search engine in a long time. Given the fact that AdWords have changed um, and how it is that, you know, they've now gone and put, uh, so three lots of AdWords up, the, uh, sorry, paid ads up the top. There's three down the bottom. Now, the ads on the right-hand side are now gone. And what we're going to see is, is a result of that, all the, obviously the increase in cost per click advertising through AdWords. But that territory underneath those paid ads is going to be far more valuable than ever before. So can you give us an example of uh, the paid ads, Peter? Uh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So here's, if I just go and share my screen, and let's take a look. While you were doing that, um, Karen um, has asked me, do Google move the goalposts on a weekly basis and how do you keep up to date with this? Well, as I said in the email, Karen, it's a bit like herding cats. Um, Google changes the rules regularly. Um, if you're not on top of it, you will slip down the rankings. It's just the way it is. Um, if you have the skills and the time, you can do it yourself. Otherwise, you're probably better off paying specialists to do it for you. Um, go ahead, Peter. Okay, so what would I just share the screen? Um, yep. Okay, so what we're going to see here very quickly. Um, so as an example, so Hair Salon Brisbane is one that I've just brought up. And as you can see, the top three 
been the paid ads. Uh, they are going to expand to four. That is going to happen. Yeah, All these ads on the, the screen. We, we ha you haven't shared your screen. Uh, it's been shared. Where'd that go? Bear with me. Okay, let's try that again. How's that? Coming up. Yep. There you go. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Um, so as I said, you can see the top three paid ads here. They have gone and removed all the side ads. That's going to fit in with the move towards, uh, I suppose, the more mobile format. And as you can see, you've got the top three Google business listings there. Now, if you look down the bottom, what we'll actually see as well is you've got three more ads as well down the bottom. So you can see that Google's taking up quite a large chunk of that space that used to be easy to access. So what we want to do now is we want to try and be able to get into this top three. We want to try and avoid these ads if we can, and we want to try and go through and actually be in that three pack. Obviously, number one is best. And that combined with the website as well uh, in an organic is that's the piece that is advanced, but we need to be able to make sure we can get into that three pack. Now, Peter, under that, uh, under those three there in, in, um, in the business listings, can you go into more places? Yes. Okay, so in here, you'll see all the other businesses that are trying to get into that three pack. So there's the top three in that list. Underneath that, there will be hundreds, hundreds of business, or dozens, at least scores of businesses trying to get into the top three for that particular search result. Well, there's more than 10 pages worth on this one. And the top three, I think uh, Google gave us the figures, the top three get 94 or 93% of the phone calls? Uh, in total, yes. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Peter. If you could unshare that, um, uh, that screen, that'd be great. One more question from Kim. Um, are there better keywords than others to use in your description? For example, massage and beauty salon. Peter? Uh, absolutely. So the more accurate the keyword is that's relative to what it is you do, the better the result you will have. So as an example, look, if you're using, um, let's say, for example, you specialise in eyelash extensions as an example. Um, so your keyword would be eyelash extensions and then, for example, a location of where you are. So that specific term is going to be far more important to Google rather than uh, say, for example, uh, beauty channel that does eyelash extensions as a, yep. as a keyword phrase. So it's the ability to, when people search, and we need to keep this in mind, they search between three to five words, no more, really no less. And what we've seen is that if it's a, a keyword or a keyword phrase that has uh, three words to, to five words or a specific one, as the case may be, then that has the ability to be far more accurate, get a far better result. Um, and it's to, designed to find those clients who are looking for that particular service. So if it's eyelash extensions, you want people who are searching or who want eyelash extensions to be searching for that in your area to find you. That's what you want. Now, all of the stuff that people uh, that Peter has been talking about and I've been talking about, you can go and do yourselves. No question about that. Um, we, we do find, though, that people... Uh, they, their eyes glaze over, it's too hard. Um, so we've set up a program, uh, uh, a service to do that for you. Um, Claudette um, and Bob uh, signed up for it recently. We've been doing it for our long-term members like Nicole and Peter for, for many years. That's why they're so highly ranked. So this particular service is to get your Google business listing up higher and higher and higher. So we are doing it for, I'm going to show you this page. Um, we are doing it for a very, very small fee. Um, it is uh, $149 to set it up. And then it is $97 a month. That's US dollars. Um, I'm going to send you to, uh, I'll set, send you a link so that you can go and do this. Um, we guarantee it. In other words, if we haven't moved you up one ranking within one month, we, th we say thank you very much, give you all your money back and wish you well. Um, but 
nobody has, we, we have never failed to lift people up in, in the rankings. So that's the page that, uh, for those who are interested, that's the page that I'm going to give you the link to. Um, for those who want to go and do that, here is the link. Um, it's there on your chat screen. It's the second of those two links. Um, how many can we take, Peter? Um, you can't handle any more than 15 or 20. Can you handle 20? 20 at the outside. Uh, it generally takes two to three weeks to actually make an impact. Um, but once you, as Claudette has discovered, once you start working on this, the phone calls start. Claudette, would you agree? I sure would, yes. <laughs> Our, ours has increased tremendously because this time of year, we are very, it's slower in our area. And um, they have increased quite a bit, yes. <laughs> in the last, what, did, when did we start with you? About three weeks ago? Yes, yeah, and it's just really been in the last two to three weeks at the most, yeah. Okay. Really, really been noticing the phone ringing more, and when we ask them, it is, you know, they check through Google, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a question from um, somebody, will you design a website too? Yeah, we build hundreds of websites for salons and spas all over the world. Building a new website for you, that is not part of this service. Um, uh, a website is a whole different ball game, but uh, you can contact us. Uh, I'll give you an address to contact, a web address, to, uh, an email address to contact, hash at worldwide salon marketing.com. If you want website consulting or some work done on your website, there is Pash's address. Um, Pash is our, in charge of our um, uh, website uh, team. Um, any other questions, folks? Nicole. Oh, sorry, yes. Um, what effect has your ranking had on your, your, your Google business ranking had on the business in the last 12 months? Okay, I find doesn't stop ringing now and our clients are always commenting and I've hired a full-time receptionist to answer our phone for, you know, this reason. So, yeah, it's been really, really positive. Uh, I'm going to um, give you that link again for those who want to take up um, the service, the Google Page One service. Uh, the link is uh, this one here. Uh, go through to it. Peter can take 20 salons and spas uh, at the moment. That's it. So if you want to be in that, go fill out that form. Um, you will then get an email with a link to a form we want you to fill in to give us some information on your business, photos, um, um, uh, text, etc. Uh, thank you very much for everybody who's participated. Um, uh, Claudette, all the way from Gatlinburg, and uh, Bob, you've tuned in from Myanmar, and uh, we've got people all over the world. Uh, thank you very much, um, Peter. I think that's been very useful. Um, your expertise is most welcome. Um, appreciate that. So, thank you, folks. And if you have any questions please email us here at uh, Worldwide Solar Marketing uh, or pick up the phone, and I'm going to put our phone number in here. Um, it is, for those outside Australia, plus 61 and then 8 and then 9443-9327. Uh, that's our main office phone number. You can talk to me or Pash or Peter or anybody else here. Uh, but appreciate that. Thank you very much, and uh, we're going to close this. The recording will be up uh, later on today. Uh, Claudette and Bob, thank you, um, and uh, Peter in uh, Queensland, and thanks all for participating. Have a great day.